In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. جميع الأجيال تطوبك يا والدة الإله. All generation praise you and bless you, O Mother of God. My dearly beloved, I greet you on this blessed morning along with Father Jim and the choir and the clergy and the deacon and all the organization of our church on this blessed day, the feast, Eid al the feast of our church. This feast of the Holy Dormition to honor the falling asleep of the Mother of God called in the West Holy Assumption. It is this day celebrated on August 15 in the Catholic Church and in the Orthodox Church. This feast was recognized as early as the third century in a special devotion to the Mother of God in Palestine especially in the city of Jerusalem. Keep in mind that the Holy Gospel record for us the event of the Annunciation, the encounter between the Blessed Mary and Archangel Gabriel. And he said to her, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the womb of your womb, the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Throughout the gospel we read that Mary was born in Nazareth, in Paul's town, Ben Nasra. She was raised in Nazareth, and four years ago, I have visited that the house of Mary. And also, we learned from the gospel that Mary was around when Jesus performed many miracles, especially when she brought the baby Jesus on her hand and cherished him on the hand of Saint Simeon, as I will do today for this baby girl and cherish her. Also, we know that Mary followed the mourner all the way to the foot of the cross. She was crying for her son, Jesus. And when the Lord Jesus looked from the cross and said to her, Mother, behold your son, which was John the Evangelist. And he looked at John the Evangelist and told him, Take care of my mother. And John took her to his own. Yes, my dearly beloved, nothing else has been mentioned about her death or the holy feast that we are now celebrating and how she was translated from earth to heaven. But we, as Orthodox Christians, Confess, since the Gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, was made in the church, produced in the church, by the church, and for the church, this holy tradition 
mentioned also to us through the writing of the Holy Fathers of the Church, especially St. Ephraim the Syrian, St. John of Damascus, and others. As we receive from the Holy Apostle the hymn of the Church that on the day of her death, the Apostle gathered from all over the world to the city of Gethsemane, and they buried her body where Jesus was crucified. Then learned by the, then by the third day, she was lifted up to heaven. In a little while, the choir will sing, أيها الرسل اجتمعوا من الأقطار إلى هنا إلى قرية الجسمانية وشجعوا جسدي You apostle from far up, up far gather together in the city of Gethsemane and lay my body in burial and you my son and my God receive my spirit. Yes, my dearly beloved, the Virgin Mary is called the new or the covenant, the Ark of the Covenant, according to St. Paul, the Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark of the Covenant is the golden altar of incense contained the gold jar of the manna that came from heaven and the two tablet stone containing the Ten Commandment which was written by the hand of God given to Moses on Mount Sinai and also in the Ark of the Covenant contain the staff of Aaron the priest. Why? Well, number one, because she carried in her womb Jesus, the bread of life, as fulfillment of the manna that came from heaven. She was called the Ark of the Covenant, because she carried in her wound Jesus, who is the high priest. So the Theotokos stand for you and I as the mother of the light, the mother of life, and the mother of love, who gave birth to the only begotten Son to save you and I. She is the mother of the world and the new Eve. She is the queen of heaven and preached by the prophet and the angel. If you notice, there are prophets over the arch around the Virgin Mary. These are not decoration, but these to confirm what the prophet of the Old Testament said about her. And I begin by the prophet Habakkuk, who said, Behold, you are an overshadowed mountain, for you are covered with the gift of the Holy Spirit. The prophet Daniel said, You as a mountain from whom seedlessly Sold and strong king that Christ came forth. Jacob, the prophet said, he saw you as a ladder upon which Christ came down from and he ate and drank with us. And David saw you as the virgin daughter of the king and Isaiah called you the mother of God 
and Ezekiel told you the gate. The gate. All these prophets foretold about the birth of the mother of God. No one stand between son and mother. Accept then my goodwill, which is greater than my capacity, and give us salvation, St. John of Damascus. Today we say with him, heal our passion, O Mother of God, cure our disease, help us out of our difficulty, make our lives peaceful, send us the illumination of the Spirit, inflamed us with the desire of your Son. Render us pleasing to him so that we may enjoy happiness with him, seeing you splendid with thy Son glory, rejoicing forever, keeping feast in the church with those who worthy celebrate him, who worked our salvation through thee, Christ the Son of God and our God, said John of Damascus. And now, during these difficult times, the corona in America and throughout the world, the demonstration in the street of America, the war that's going on in Syria and Palestine, and the massive explosion in Beirut, Lebanon. I turn to your holy icon, praying on a bended knee, and repeat and cry to you as the prayer stayed in the church. To those in great sorrow, Mary, you are joy. And for the oppressed, protection. And for the hungry, be their food. Comfort those who lost their home. You are the staff of the blind. Visit and heal all the injured. And to those who help in pain. Give comfort and shelter to the half a million homeless and to the many orphans who lost their mom and dad, give them an aid. Mother of God in the highest, you who are spotless one, come, save your servant from their sin. We ask you and we pray to you through your son Jesus in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen.